Hey guys, as most of you know, 3D Touch multitasking is gone from iOS 11. So, how do you get it back? Well, we can't. There is a work around it, and that's what we're going to go through today. So go into your settings, and under your settings, you guys are going to scroll down until general, in general, accessibility. Alright, so that's right here, just tap on that. Under accessibility, you guys are going to scroll down until you guys see assistive touch. Alright, so from here, just turn it on. Once you turn it on, you guys will see this little thing, all right, that you guys can move around just by holding on it. And um, now let's just tap on there and you guys will see all these options. Well, I don't want all these options, right? We want that 3D touch multitasking. So what we have to do is to custom, all right? So customize top level menu. So let's just tap on that. As we'll see all these options. What do you, I want you guys to do right away is just click on this minus sign. So this minus sign will get rid of all the extra stuff that we don't want. So we don't want that, we just want our home button, all right? So, click on custom. Then once you guys tap on custom, just tap on home, tap on done, and there you go, home. So right now, if I double tap here, there you go. It just acts like a home button. You guys will no longer see all those um, icons there that are annoying. Now something else, our very last thing is that I don't like to see this on my screen. It's going to be in my screen all the time. So let me just show you. So right now it's in my screen. It's all the time, right? And it can be annoying. So let me just double tap here, get back here. And then if you guys tap on back, all right, you guys will see this opacity. So right now it's at 57. So let's just bring it down all the way down to 15. So as you can see, it's almost transparent. You guys can't see it as long as you guys are not touching it. Every time you touch it, it will appear. So right now, you guys can see that it's at 15% opacity and you guys can barely see it. And that's the point of this. So let's just go back and we're pretty much done. Um, that's all we can do. I'm sorry, there's no more 3D multi-touch feature. Um, they just took that away from us. Not 100% sure why. I'm pretty sure they said something about security. However, I don't believe that 100% since uh, the iPhone 10 will have this feature. Anyways, right now, what you guys can do is position this wherever you guys want. So I'm going to position it down here so it doesn't get in my way. And then if I start to scroll around and stuff, after a few seconds, it's going to just go away. So as you can see, it's gone. However, it's always kind of there, right? So if you guys want to see all your apps are open, you guys can just double tap on it. Well, right now, I don't have anything open. So let's just open this up. Minimize it just by tapping there. I no longer need to use my home button, and which is a really good thing. Now, this will make things faster than tapping on your home button. As you know, home buttons wear off. It's the same thing with your power button. It's the most common thing besides battery and breaking your screen. Uh, the home button, power uh, button, they always wear off and people have to go and replace them. So it's a really good idea to just use this as much as you can and avoid using your home button and only use it when you have to. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.